I lost 90% of my revenue by April of 2020. I, I saw a lot of horror stories where landlords that just didn't care. Um, then a pandemic was going on. A lot of people like myself who had business insurance, we found out the hard way that business insurance and the interruption insurance that you pay for, a pandemic doesn't qualify. So the government assistance programs uh, that, that came through after the pandemic uh, began, we immediately took advantage of the PPP loans. As soon as those came out, I applied for that. And that allowed me to, to get about, you know, 75% of the workforce that I initially had um, you know, I had a, I had a couple guys who didn't want to come back because they were making more on unemployment. So I had to hire, uh, I had to hire people outside of who I had originally. And then the economic, uh, injury disaster loan, which people call the idle. We applied for that when that became available. And really that was, that was my saving grace in being able to, to run the company and for those who don't know, the idle came out as a stopgap that was really meant for three months because that's what we all thought. That's that's how long we all thought the pandemic was going to last for. But that idle loan from the SBA ended up lasting me almost 18 months. The companies that weren't able to take advantage of the government assistance provided didn't have their books in order and they didn't have their finances in order. So a lot of the paperwork to get a PPP loan or get the, uh, you know, the idle loan that, that came out from the SBA, you know, that money dried up quickly. So I, I think within the first week, you know, those funds that were distributed, they dried up and that's because they didn't have their stuff in order. So, you know, it doesn't matter if you've been in business for six months or six years, you got to have a good handle on all your taxes and all of your, uh, you know, basically all your income statements and your balance sheet. That's number one.